All right, all right, all right. All right. So what we have in our hand right now is a bird that flew the Hoosier in 2020 with the Facebook syndicate. Phenomenal bird. I wish you could see the eye better. Okay. So this is uh, 234. Yeah, 234. This, uh, like I said, this bird flew the whole season of the 2020 Hoosier Classic. Um, yeah, Hoosier Classic. With uh, Aldo's and the Syndicate from Facebook, Jazzy Zloff uh, actually got one of the birds to get in the top there and uh, manage to uh, get our birds home with that finances with those winnings but anyway his sister uh, produ uh, was first place for Zaya's Loft what happened was I was supposed to send this bird to Cisco and the hen I was supposed to send it to the Hoosier Classic but the hen got pecked all over her I got the hen here also uh, she got 22, uh, 233. Um, yeah, she got pecked all over her head. She had her scalped a little bit. I ain't want to look bad sending a bird scalp in the near future. I know if you send a bird scalp, she'll probably fly better. Because uh, she flew very well for Cisco when she won a race with Cisco at 300 miles. Uh, place in first place, like I said. So, yeah, this is... Uh, Okay, okay. So, uh, it's a little pencil there. Got a little pencil in the wing. Beautiful bird. Look at that vibration. I don't know if you can see the vibration in the wing. And I'm moving my hand. But I feel his whole body shaking. So, I'm going to bring you his father now. You guys want to pause for a second? Okay, so we're back. This is his father. 523. AFL. Uh, he's uh, sired to a couple of winners in the money races. Uh, he's also a uh, grandfather to for, uh, second place money winner. He has sixth place in the S-Band money winner. Sixth place in the <clears throat> T-Band money winner. Uh, he also has a couple of them in, the, in, the, in his background. Okay? Yeah, I can't, can't remember them off the top of my head. Uh, but there's a couple of 602, uh, uh, for 240, they bred something, 1465, if I'm not mistaken, for George. There's a couple of birds there. I, you know, I try not to keep too much track. Anyway, this is uh, the bird. It's identical to his son. He's a little bit, uh, maybe I'm not holding him right. He's looking over to the coop. Let me, uh, anyway, let's start off with his wing. That's his wing. Hell of a specimen. It's a little pencil on the top, like his son. A little pencil on the top, also like his son. So the wing. Also pearl eye, rich and red, with like his son. Uh, his son has the same eye. So, yeah, very calm bird. Not too uh, feisty. Oh. Nice body size. A little heavy right now. Let's see what I Chunky monkey. So this is uh, young Gabriel. I'll show you his hen now. 
that bred those spectacular birds because it always takes two to tango. Bear with me one second. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so what I got here is uh, 2333, which is a uh, nest mate to the other bird, 2333, 2020. Okay? Now, this hen right here was supposed to go to the Hoosier. But like I was saying, she had got scalp. Look, you can even see a little bit right here on the side of her head. You can see it. She grew most of it and it's in this area right here. She was really scalped. And I told Cisco, hey, uh, listen, I can't give you the bird. Uh, I'm gonna give you her brother. No, I actually said, hey, listen, I can't give you the bird. Uh, I'm gonna give you out of the second round. And he said, no, send me the one that's got the scalp on it. I don't care. So I sent him that one, which is this one. Identical to her father again. Rich red pearl eye. Wish I could get a better focus on that. But similar body, little waggy on the tail. Vent's not that close. But she flew three races. She managed to take a first place, like I said. Phenomenal bird. Nice step in the wing. You know, I think uh, the only defect is uh, that I get this feather like this all the time. And it comes like this. I wish somebody could enlighten me. The quill splits. It doesn't matter how many times you grow this feather in, it always splits right there. We always split. So I pulled it off and she always grows it the same. So anyway. So this is the daughter to that cock, nest mate to that other cock, 234. Uh 234. And this is 233. I'm gonna get their mother now. One sec. Okay, this is 567. 2019, just made it to that cock from Adu, right? So this hen came out of a bird from Dick LaCroix uh, that I purchased a long time ago, and it was crossed to a Cripple Creek bird. Then she came out of one of Adu's birds from, uh, what's its name? Georgia boy. We cross back to that Dick LaCroix, uh, I think her number, band number is 1055, uh, 2015 bird. So, anyway. So, yeah, so this is the hen of that. Those two, this is the parent to those two birds. She's a small bird. She has a yellow eye. She has a nice tail. Well, does all that crazy stuff. Uh, I like her very much. One thing I like is, I don't know, something about me and this little feathering when it goes to the black tape of the bird's tail. It's the other side of the wing. It's a little white in it. Again. She is mother to 240, 241, also mother to 233, 234, which have produced birds. She's a beautiful hen. And her daughter's look also. Also has a daughter look. Yep. Well, anyways. Ooh, muscle, baby, muscle, muscle. Muscle baby, muscle. Oh, man, man. Okay, let me pause this real quick. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is the mother. She still got a race chip on. 
She's a S-Bin 2016. I thought it was a 15. 1056, not 1055. 1055, I think somebody else purchased some S-Bin. Recently just had them. A year ago, and uh, somebody wanted him. Yeah. But anyway, this is the mother to those birds and grandmother. Uh, she, the daughter, came out like her. Very alert, right, girl? Beautiful, beautiful specimen. This is out of Dick Lacroix and Gallo. Not Cripple Creek, sorry. Gallo, but it does have some KKK, KKL. <laughs> L in there somewhere. Anyway, this is, uh, excuse. Is Look at that stuff. Huh? You see that? Mm -hmm. Not interested in calls right now. So, yeah, so she flew for me a couple of times. Not that tight as tail. Nice vent, nice clothes. Oh, she's really red on that skin.